Okay, so I'm, I'm back now. I've eaten my lunch and um, all is good with the world. <laughs> okay, so looking at her on closer inspection, I really don't like her eyes. I think they're too big and they're too close together. And um, being as fussy as I am, <clears throat> I'm actually going to redo them. So I don't know if you probably don't want to sit through watching me do that all over again. Um, so I might speed this section up. Um, I think I know how to do that having looked at the um, program that I use. But yeah, I, I'm not practiced at it yet so I need to um, practice it. So this this particular video might be a bit of an experiment for me. <coughs> um, so if I if I can figure out how to do it, I'll I'll just have me doing this part speed it up to music or something. Otherwise, if you don't want to watch me do all this, you know, if I can't speed it up and this drags on too long, you can skip ahead. To where I finish this part. So I'm just going to gesso out her eyes. <laughs> I'm fussy. I need to be happy with what I do, otherwise it bothers me. If I just say, ah, that's good enough, that'll do, I know at a later stage I will come along and look at that and think, oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I'm not happy. <clears throat> I'm botching this up a bit. Um, I have a um, a girl that I did on the front cover of a book I made last year, so it was still very early days for me, and I wanted to show you guys that, but since then I've realised that I really don't like a couple of aspects of it that I want to have a go at fixing first, so... I don't know, that's just just me, my quirky thing. I just I'm not happy, so I want to be happy. Alright, so just a rough gesso, wait for that to dry quickly. Um <clears throat> so after I've fiddled around with that, um the next things I want to do is um stitch all around way around the edge of the journal with my sewing machine. Um, although I'll probably do that after. I want to fill in some more of these blank spaces with some more maybe smaller stencils and some other stamping. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I'll do the stitching. Um, then I will add a quote that I want to put on there. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not decided which one, but I'll have to have a look at what I've got. Um, <clears throat> and then I might do some other lettering um, that I will emboss so that they're shiny and, and have a thick coating. And I'll, I'll do that with you as well, but that can be a really lengthy process, so I might just show you doing the first one or two letters and then yeah either speed it up or cut it out <laughs> otherwise this could this could um, be a three week long video seriously when I'm working on my own I go slower than this and it can actually take me days if not weeks to complete something It also depends too on whether I'm feeling well enough to work on something, so I might um, you know, take take longer than I normally do. All right, another bit of gesso, really big blobs. <laughs> That's weird. <clears throat> oh, my throat's all croaky just since I had lunch.
I just watched a couple of videos while I was um, eating my lunch and saw um, Mr. Victor Crafter showing his beautiful cards that he made. So very, so very clever and um, the things that he manages to make considering he doesn't really have a lot of the products that we have available to us. Just amazing. Um, yeah, making his own canvases out of matchboxes and a piece of cardboard covered with some material is just fabulous. Really good improvisation. I mean, his canvases turn out so beautiful too. Yeah, so I really love Victor. I think everyone loves Victor. Everyone that knows him or of him. Right, <clears throat> mix up a bit more, a tiny, tiny tad of skin colour. Boop. Funny noise. The boys are outside at the moment, running around. They've found themselves a really nice corner of the garden where the sun is really quite strong and they're really warm. They love bathing in the sun. So let them stay out there and enjoy themselves until it starts to get cold again. <clears throat> when the um, the night air starts rolling in, usually around about four in the afternoon, it starts to get particularly cold again if it's been warm during the middle of the day. Which today is pretty good. I think I've said before, they love being outside. They love barking at any dog that goes past. Barking at the neighbour. Letting us know that there's somebody walking past our property and we might be in danger so they have to protect us. <laughs> so cute. I get a feeling this is probably going to look worse than I expected. But I'll keep trying. Just blend that in a bit better, I think. It's not very smooth underneath, but it wasn't anyway because of the texture of the tissue paper. <coughs> now, where's the lid? Oh, there. I got out two tubes of white. Didn't need to do that. <sighs> yeah, her eyes were much too close together. That's why they were looking funny to me. And um, a bit too big for her face. <clears throat> I just have, <clears throat> yeah, I just had a fiddle about in my um, stamps container, um, and decided I probably I want to do a bit more um, stamping of the background. So I've got a. Um, What's this one called? Script. The script. Um, if I can get it out, I'll show you. If you can see that there, it's a bit stained from previous inks. It's alright, so get a bit of a And I also want to use for the very first time, <coughs> excuse me for clearing my throat all the time. These um, really lovely little stamps that I got from Josie Gito, which was um, part of the prize that I won from her birthday challenge. So I thought that'd be really nice to put on the front. <clears throat> so that's part of my plan of what to do next. Um, About that. Put it down. 
Yeah. Um, I was just thinking it's a really shame, real shame too, because I covered up the flower there, and what I will do um, towards the end of, of making this cover is I'll put a strip of tape down the centre so that it forms the um, the strengthening part for the binding, which will be down there, which means I'll probably lose that flower as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought, after I've done majority of what I want to do, if I'm not happy because I've missed too much of that, I might just do a few of these flowers separately in different places, just to, you know, have them there. So how's that going? Oh, it's still sticky. Icky sticky. Hmm. I really like how that tree turned out. Definitely use that again on another one. When and if I make another one, I'll probably for the one I make my daughter. I think she'd really like that tree. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to go grab my dryer and dry her face. So back in a mini. Okay. She's dry now. I want to try and draw in another pair of eyes. Where'd I put that pencil? I had a bit of pencil in this one. It's a bit of a light. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not even a pencil. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong thing. I meant this one. <laughs> um, all right. So, um,. I might. Hi. Um, I was recording and working away on the girl's face, and um, the memory card ran out without me realising. So unfortunately, I missed a fair bit of um, recording of me. <coughs> excuse me, redoing her face. Um, and that's how it's turned out. I'm still not, you know, 100% happy with it, but I'm going to leave it there because I'm just wasting too much time fussing around with it. So that's her. Um, so what I want to do next is maybe decorate a little bit more of the background just quickly. And I think I will... I oh know I definitely wanted to do these stamps here so I might go ahead and do those and just get out my stamp pad again so this one put a little bit of um, script on it background texture late in the afternoon now. The sun has um, really moved over quite a lot. Still windy. My husband's been out today. Um, he, he likes to do photography. So he's been out with his camera. And um, I think I was saying before in another video that he doesn't mind the cold, whereas I can't stand it. Um, and he wears shorts and a t-shirt all year round. Well, today he came home and said, 
that he feels chilled to the bone because of the wind and um, he never thought he'd ever be saying that you know the cold air was too much for him so that just gives you an idea of how pretty cold it is here at the moment alright that's enough of that stamping that down and pack it up later. Mm. What else? I do want to do some different coloured stamping like I did with the owl. But again they're, they're very difficult to get those dry so I'll do them sort of as a last thing before I pack it away tonight. <coughs> might do this one last as well actually. So what I think I'll do now is I'll dig out a little stencil that I have. Just need to dig around in my little container. There it is. These are great. I like these. It's um, a little sheet of three different stencil, they're sticky back stencils so you can stick them onto the page um, but they're only sort of reusable a few times because the stickiness is... I've had the most difficult time with this camera today um, apparently the memory card filled up again very quickly and then I realised when I was transferring it over that I hadn't deleted the previous files so that's why it filled up so quickly so, now I'm up to doing a little bit more stenciling. And I've got these little um, sticky back stencils of butterflies and flowers. And um, this one's not quite so sticky on the back anymore because it... Um, I've used it a fair bit and it eventually wears off. So what I'm using is these gorgeous, gorgeous, luscious Lumiere paint. I only have two of them and I got them with some money I got for Christmas, last Christmas. And I use them very sparingly because they are very expensive. Um, but worth it, I think. I just love them. I love metallic paints. They really like beautiful bright colours and that shimmery effect of the metallic. And these little stencils are really cute. Yeah, so I'll do a bit of this with the butterflies and the flowers just here and there, just to add a little bit more prettiness. <clears throat> I've got this um, purple and another one which is a very pale green, which is more of a yellowy green which I'm not as keen on but I still like it um, but when I, I got these from the art shop and they only had a few colours left to choose from so I think these were the two that um, I liked the most out of the choice that they did have But um, hopefully they'll get more stock in and each year when I get some special money for my birthday or Christmas, I will get some more. Yeah, but that's usually the only time when I buy. Whoops, that one didn't work out so well. 
I don't think it was pushed down tightly enough. Um, yeah, what was I saying? That's the only time that I sort of buy supplies for my art stuff, unless I need something urgently in between. And hubby will pick me up, you know, the odd bit of paint from the from the uh, Chinese shop. Well, Vietnamese, they are actually here where we live. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of, um, what do you call it? I don't know what I'm trying to think of the word. Arty crafty items, anyway, put it that way. Because I've only been doing this for a year and a half. You know, I started off with nothing and slowly building up a little bit of supplies, but not a lot. But it's enough. What I do have is enough for me and what I like to do. I might use a different one now. That one <clears throat> twice there didn't work that well. So I might try a different one that's maybe a little bit more sticky on the back. Yeah, that one's better. Bigger butterfly. Doing across the crease. But you know, even if you didn't have any of these stamp stencil things or stamps, you can still make nice covers with um you know, a little bit of decorative drawing or um, like Kelly Donovan teaches us to use things that you find around the house like bottle caps and pen caps and things like that to make circles and odd things that you might have in your kitchen drawer. I've got some um, cookie cutters that work pretty well as a um, What do you call it? A stamp, I suppose. Mm, that's really pretty. I like these. I'll try a different one here. Right in the corner. I can't believe I've been working on this pretty much all day and bits and pieces and still nowhere near finished that's how long it takes and that's alright if you're happy to follow along and watch me take my merry time <laughs> but Probably not so good for those that just want a quick, a quick fix. <laughs> oh well, I suppose we'll go and watch someone else's video then. That's um, quicker. Oh, I wasn't going to do this one. Look at that. I've put it on. I was going to do that one there and I've started doing this one, which is right over the top of that rose. Oh well. My husband's always saying to me, there's no such thing as multitasking. <laughs> and I said, yeah, women can multitask, men can't. And he says, no, it's not true. <laughs> he says, and I think he, he takes that because of me and the amount of times that I've made mistakes because I can't, well, I can no longer, I used to be able to. No longer concentrate on two things at once. Hmm. Oh well, nobody's perfect, are they? <laughs> I'm do a little flower here. I 
It'll be getting dark soon. Oh, bandit's in trouble. He must have done something. I just heard um, hubby call his name. No, he's not really in trouble. We're just trying to get his attention. Gee, that's wished off very quickly. It's supposed to be eight minutes. Surely it hasn't taken me eight minutes just to do a few stencils. Sorry if it has. <laughs> How boring for you. Oh well, skip ahead. That's what I say. Skip ahead. Bigger flower. And then I might change colours in a minute. Alright. Scrub this off on here. Not wasting a tiny little scarab with this beautiful paint. This one. This is the other one I've got. It's called. What's it called? I don't think it has the name of the colour. Light body metallic acrylic. It's this kind of a um, yellowy green colour. Rinse water is getting a bit khaki. Yeah, this one I've found you need to do a couple of coats because it's um, the colour's not as deep. And that probably needs it's shaking up a bit. It's a bit sort of unsettled. Oh. Oops. Yeah, this colour seems to be a little bit more, what's the word, translucent. You can see through it, whereas the purple you can't. Hmm, there's a particular smell about it too. It's not unpleasant, but this is very noticeable. the traffic I'm busy out there everyone's coming home from work I guess can't um, see that quite as well as the purple. It's alright. Do one more here. I can't believe how quickly this week's gone by. On Friday again already so quickly this whole year has just flown by we're in August tomorrow we'll start August where on earth has that half a year more than half a year now where has that gone my mother always used to tell me or still does I suppose um, the older you get the faster it goes and I never used to believe her, but I'm finding that out for myself now. It's true. The years just are flying by so rapidly. Now that I'm in my 50s.
yeah, it doesn't seem that long ago that it was, you know, Christmas time and start of a new year. And um, it's actually eight months ago. And Christmas will be upon us again very soon. And then we'll be singing in another new year. If we're lucky to still be here. Yeah. Our children are all young adults now. I just often think about how quickly that time of them being children how quickly that flew by and I kind of miss it too I miss you know having the laughter of young children in the house and yeah just being a family together with little ones is so nice and to do lots of fun things with them when they're little and they listen to every word you say. <laughs> no, I think that'll do. It's looking a little fuller. A little more pretty. I might have to call that a day because yeah it's getting late I'll just check the time yeah it's quarter past five so it'll be getting dark very soon outside that's my journal cover so far and I will yeah I might add some more stamps um, with the ink that takes ages to dry. I might do that and um, let it dry overnight. I don't know that you necessarily need to see me doing that, do you? I'll do some of it now and if it um, ends up being a humongously long boring event. I might just cut that bit out. Alright, now well, I've got to take out those stamps again, don't I? <sighs> Creaky chair, clattering tin can. Noisy. I notice too, if I make a noise here in the room, it's like 10 times louder um, when I play back the video. It's like, oh, hope that's not hurting your ears. <laughs> I have to turn the volume down. Um, 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 no, I don't think I want that one. I want this one. Just do some I'm saying I'm just gonna do some small little stamps. I've got a little birdie there and I'll colour him in blue. He's pretty cute. I'll put him here. Mm. 
to the other side quickly. Quickly, quickly, hurry up. <laughs> I was watching a video last night um, of a woman who was doing crochet and um, she was doing it left handed. Gee, that confused me. <laughs> My poor brain <laughs> couldn't work out what she was doing because <laughs> I'm right handed. It's like, oh, you can see what she's doing, but my brain couldn't get around the fact of how I would be able to do what she was doing with my right hand. It's a bit confusing. But she, she um, did some beautifully well-crafted crochet. It's really nice. I like to do crochet too. I don't think I'm as good as she is. I can't remember who she is now. I should have, um, no actually I think I am subscribed to her, I was going to say I should have subscribed but I think I am, uh, who knows from one day to the next with me, <laughs> what's going on, right what else will I do, might do some more of the owl, he was really cute, on the front in particular because I went over him. Cute little green owl. I'm going to put you, put you here. didn't leave that space there, did I? And I was going to. Right, that's enough. Because I'm just going overboard. I need to know when to stop. Alright, I'm going to leave that to dry overnight. And um, I'll catch up with you again tomorrow and we'll continue doing the finishing touches on the cover. Bye for now.